Hey everybody and welcome back to Embrilliance. My name is Sue and I am from OML Embroidery and today we are going to do some cool things with letters and lettering shapes and making letters into shapes because it's so much fun to do. Now I thought that I could use what Embrilliance gives us so let's look at their shapes. Now the first one I saw is bone, the word bone in here and I thought well that pretty much digitizes itself. Uh, I kind of thought about the pause one. It's pretty hard to do, but look at all these different shapes that make it really easy to do. Now, car. Ooh, turtle. That pretty much digitizes itself too. But I thought car. Why not? So let's bring in the car. Now, I have a two by two four by four hoops set up. So I want to put my car, you know, so it fits into that hoop. Now let's go for our lettering. Now, generally I suggest that you pick something, you know, relatively plain. You wouldn't want to do like an old English. You could do it, but I think it's going to be harder to read in the end. So something stencil, um, and something like this, or Philly, it would be too uh, kind of swirly, although you could have a lot of fun with it. You just got to be able to read it in the end. So jazz or comedy is the one I decided. It's nice and thick and I have a lot to work with. So I think it's a much better font. Of course, you can do the block font. Um, you can do any of them. It just depends on, on how you want it to look. So I'm going to go for the comedy font and I thought it was kind of cool. So what I want to do next is I just want to generally make them the size that we're working with. And that should be just about right, except for we want to put the word car on it. Don't forget to change your lettering, capital letter. So now that we have that, we can <laughs> pull it out a little bit and make it look a little bit better. Now we are going to be adjusting everything. So the next thing I want to do is open my stitch artist and I want to, I'm sure there's more than one way of doing it, this, but this is what I found is the fastest. It may not be the right way or whatever, but I just wanted to get into digitizing the letters and making them fit because I thought it was really fun. So there's a tool and I think it's Stitch Artist 3. It's called Create Outline from Stitches on the Page. And I'm going to click on that and look what it does. Now, if you have your car put to lines, it's going to, you know, do that as well. So it'll be all in one. We want each letter to be separate. So you have to do it in that order. Now we can go ahead and we can delete the actual lettering. And this makes it really fast and easy to, you know, move our letters around. We could have done this one a little bit bigger, so we can do it a little bit bigger. Grab the uh, green square to make everything fit. And you know what? If you can pull down rather than moving nodes, I think it's a lot easier. So now I have it in the general spot that I want. So I want to start moving the nodes. And on this one, I think we can move all of the nodes and make it fit into this part. Now I'm pulling this out. This is a Bezier curve. The black dots are the Bezier part of it. And that makes it quite lovely for what I want to do. If you are in a spot that, you know, you're having a hard time with, you can just, you know, pull it out and play around with it. That's how I get around if the Bezier curves are confusing you. Like what I just did there, I pulled out the curve instead of the node, but that's okay because it's really easy to fix. Now, as you are working along on this, this is where the Bezier nodes come in handy. You can tweak everything as you go. Click on it and you can move the nodes and get it, you know, smooth, that sort of thing. So, you know, it's a little bit of playing around if you find that there's too many nodes in one spot, feel free to delete them. Now, this black is a Bezier node, so see just by slightly moving that, I can change the shape of it. And I kind of want it like this. I'm kind of going for um, uh, kind of like bubbly letters because I really want it to fit into what I'm doing. Now, I'm going to grab the Bezier 
and pull it on there. See, that worked out really nicely. Thank you, Bezier Curves. That's awesome. You will get used to them. You will get used to them. So it's a little bit of fiddling around for this part. It's a little bit of fiddling around, but the end results are going to be worth it. Now, I think that's too many nodes in there. Makes it easier with the least amount of nodes. Now, I might tweak this a little bit more. That's a little bit off. I'd like to see it close to fitting into the car but let's move on so i just clicked on fill stitches and i'm filling it with fill stitches let's go on to the next shape and we are going to stretch our a up and then we'll be able to move the nodes down and i think that works really well i might stretch it out i want to be careful here that we don't want anything to touch now our r is going to move so why don't we move the r the r is going to be here so why don't we move that and then we can see how far our a can go and right about there i think looks really good so let's get in and this one's going to be a lot easier because we don't have to adjust too much for it so the bottom part, all we have to do is just tweak a little bit here. Remember, make sure you grab on the right ones. Now, if you wanted to get really fancy, we can bring this part down. We can change it either to a cusp or a line. I'm going to change it to a line because I know I have extra, um, I have extra nodes everywhere. So this is kind of just getting a little bit better. You could bring this part out as well. I think that might look good. And you could bring this part down if you wanted to. Now let's do this again and change it to a line and bring this up. I guess we probably, you know, that, that might be okay right there. So, okay, that was fast. The A was really fast. So let's change it to fill. What do we think? See how that looks so nice in there to make it look more like a car. I might tweak this a little bit better and that a little bit better, but so far, so good. Let's work on our R. Now we have quite a quite a few things we can do with the R but we gotta again make sure that we don't lose the actual shape of an R but I would like it to fill in a little bit more of the car shape now I just deleted a node because I don't think I needed it and look so far so good why don't we try pulling carefully pulling this part out a little bit more just to see if we can get the shape going on. Now there's a lot of nodes there. I would like less nodes than that. It really does make it easy because now you see all I have to do is pull out the Bezier curve until I get, you know, how I want it to be. Now we could bring that out a little bit more and it's hopefully still going to look like an R. I like it. We could bring this one up and we could bring this part up. We could even do it like that. Ooh, that's better than what I came up with when I was uh, practicing. Oh, I like that. That might work. That might work kind of like this it almost looks like a race car sort of thing now we do want to tweak it right here that doesn't quite look right I'm pretty sure if uh, actually that's quite on there it's this one so right click and put that to a line and our problem is solved so let's put it in there now look at this if you're finding that it's bumpy, it's probably because there are too many nodes. So we want to take them off. And you see, once I deleted that node, it made it a lot better. We can try to perhaps delete this one and see. Ah, uh, yes, we can get a better shape. Isn't that awesome? Now you can also pull this part out, but I was thinking we might start ruining our shape. So now, look at that, just from outlines. Now you can tweak them up a little bit. How about we take our car and we put an outline on it and it doesn't have to be red. It can be another color. I was thinking more like black maybe or something dark, just to use it as an outline. And we'll have to move the uh, stitching order of it because I want it to stitch 
out a little bit. So let's see how that looks. So yeah, I would tweak it a little bit or we can, how about we move this to last and then we can change it from a run to, I mean, we could even try this. That is not bad. We could try um, a motif if we wanted. Now, we, of course, we have to pick it. I'm not sure how it's going to look, but we can try. Well, that kind of actually, actually, that doesn't look too bad. You could, uh, how about this one? That might look cool too. Actually, I really like that. So I would tweak the C a little bit more so everything lines up. See how perfect this is and see how perfect it is over here. And now you have the words car that are in the shape of a car. It doesn't get much better than this. So you could also outline each letter. You could also change the stitching on each letter if you wanted to try a pattern font or a pattern. Let's try, what could we do? Mm, let's try, oh, the bones, so cute. Let's try, well, we could be really funny and put car a car pattern inside a car. Uh, it doesn't really look good because it's kind of small for that, but hey, the idea is there. So you can change it to whatever you want. How about a brick? And let's take out the fill. Let's take out this one. Let's remove. Let's try this one, a brick, waves. That's more like what I was looking for. I think it's small enough. So yeah, you can change it and make it look like a really groovy car. And I like it. Ooh, I like the basket one. Wicker and texture. So some of those will work and it'll help get, you know, give a little more interest into your design. But that is the fastest way to move your lettering and shape your lettering into a word and I think I like this one the best. So thanks everyone for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel to let me know that you want more videos like this. The more subscribes and likes I get, the harder I will work for you guys. So thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.